What's up, guys? We are here, and we are going to look at Sting of the Blood Orange, guitar number two. All right, so let's talk about it. So we're going to have a, a, we're gonna have a B flat in this uh, song, so third fret, third string, or first fret on the fifth string. All right, so lots of B flats. You're also going to have some C sharps, so second fret, second string, or fourth fret, fifth string. All right. So that's a, I think that's about it. Maybe, maybe some chromaticism in there too, but for the most part, you're going to see a, a bunch of C sharps here at the beginning and a bunch of E flats. All right. So let's start really easy with our third and fourth finger on the third fret on the second and third string. All right. Now the rhythm with this is all eighth notes, but the way that I want you to think about it is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All right. And the reason I'm saying that is because your idea, which is P-I-M-P-I-M-I-M, -I -M -I -M, that is based around that way of counting. So watch. All right, so that's your riff uh, all the way until uh, measure 12. Okay, let me bring uh, let me bring this down just a hair, just a hair so you can see my right hand. That's good. All right. So I'm using my third and my fourth finger here on the B flat and the D. All right. And I'm just playing that riff over and over again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, wait, is it? Yes, it is. One, two, three, one, two, three. So P I M P I M P I. I said A M. That. That's all I'm doing all the way up into the golpe on measure 12. Now that is going to be a nice fat hit. One, two. All right. And then we have that rhythm. Da, 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 dum. All right. So one, two. Da, 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 dum. And it's a um, triplet. So three lolly or one lolly, sorry, uh, on the end of two. So one, da, 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 dum. So just think of it like that, no big deal. Now let's look at the chord. Let's make sure that we have the right chord. So it's going to be an open A, your E, your B flat, and your C. So now, so one, two, and then you're, so down, up, down, up. All right, no big deal. So let's play that in time. One, two, ready, go, boom, two. All right, no big deal, no big deal. So over there at A, we have this riff and I want you to play this idea in the fifth position. So fifth position means that you're gonna have your first finger on the fifth fret, second finger is gonna take care of the sixth fret, third finger is gonna take care of seventh, and then your pinky is gonna take care of eighth, all right? Now, just kind of get this idea in your head. You're gonna come in on the and, so one. I'm sorry, I gave it I gave it the eighth rest. And I thought they were gonna do it one more time, but they're not. That is just gonna be all right, so no big deal. The idea is all based around um, your third finger on the D coming up to the E, F, and G. All right. M almost everything is based around those those few notes. You can play everything around there. All right, so fifth fret, D, E, F. G, pull off down to F, right, down to E. So this is just a staircase little chord, A, C sharp, E, right? So you have rest. All right, so be careful with the rhythm. One and two and three and four and one, two and three, rest. All right, because you're coming up to measure 15. All right, now measure 15 is the same riff. But you're...
you're coming down to the C sharp on the sixth fret with your second finger, all right? So at A, you have two, two, two riffs. rest two three four seventeen starts the same way that everything else starts but it kind of goes on a little bit further all right so you have e f e d c and you can actually hammer on and pull off all right and now here at measure 19 that's when you have the actual downbeat. So start here on your B flat, go down to the A. All right, so I'm on the eighth fret, coming down the seventh, back up to the eighth. C, D, E, F, D, E. All right, no big deal, no big deal. So we're in the key of A minor, right? So it would kind of, fun fact, pro tip, I would start working on your A minor scale. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. All right, so just kind of get that in your head. I'm, I'm just playing A right here, seventh fret. B, oh, no, we're playing the, sorry. We're playing the flat seven, so B flat, right? So A, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, Right. All right. So I would just practice that just a couple of times to kind of get it in your head. Um, I guess this would be like a what's the third? So Phrygian? Are we in the Phrygian mode maybe? because uh, we're playing a lot of well uh, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. We'll have to analyze it in class. All right. No big deal. Sorry, went off on a tangent. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's just play A. One, two, ready, go, rest. Four, rest. Two, three, four, rest. Four. All right, and then you're going to repeat that. No big deal, and that's going to be A, all right? Now at B, you have the chromaticism that I was talking about, all right? Now I tried to do a couple couple different ways and I think you may be able to just go down to first position uh, because you're playing these rest, and two, and three, four. So since there's so many of those, check out B, rest. Four, rest. Four, rest. So you, you, you have uh, same ideas except for 24. 24, you're actually coming in straight. All right, so at B, you have rest and two and three, rest and two and three, rest, two, three, four, rest and two and three, and, da, 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 and it keeps on doing that. But watch out for measure 24 and 28. Same ideas, all right? They're coming in straight after you're establishing the kind of you know the and groove so b for rest for rest rest for rest for rest for rest two three four all right so there's a call and answer going on with other uh guitars right but for you, I just want you to practice on coming in on that and rest, da, 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 da. rest, da, 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 da. rest, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. all right. So just work on getting that rhythm super solid. Let's play it one more time. B all the way to 30. One, two, ready, go, rest for rest for rest. Rest for rest for rest. Do ah, I play the open B instead of the B flat for rest? Two, three, four. Now we're we're coming up to measure thirty, right? 
I'm thinking we should go back to um, the fifth position because you're you're all right here. So sections of riffs, right? That's basically all the song is, is sections of riffs. But let's talk about that at 30. So yeah. for that rhythm at the end of the page it's one and three and one all right so not not much crazy stuff right remember um everything's based around this this idea of the fifth position right so a a a g f a g a f g g f e g g g f e flat f g back to e flat f two three four f f f regular e d e f d e f e e c sharp one d f d c sharp all right no big deal no big deal let's play all of b one two ready go four rest four rest two three four one for rest for rest two three four the first page all right this video is getting way too long let's see if we can run through a little bit more all right oh man i love c i love c because um b flat right but you get to groove here all right so uh one four one back to that that same idea c to d is your time to really hold it down all right so really fun notes crazy nothing crazy one and three one and three four one and three one and three four that's that's it that's it as far as rhythm okay um and you know all the notes so i'm not don't worry about that d you've already done before d is just a uh, b one four one four one two three four one one ah, i did again i keep on playing that open b all right uh there at 59 playing open b all right but you've already done this we've already done this we've already done this whole part now at e guess what you go back to the all right no big deal everything is cool and cool all right, so let's go all the way to F. We're gonna go all the way to F. All right now, F. You have a B flat chord. So one, two. 
two to two to three and four and. So you're gonna have to work on. All right, but don't be scared of that. Just mute your mute your strings. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. There you go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right. So we're coming down with our fingers. We're coming up with our thumb. All right. Make sure to use your nails. So B flat, uh, B flat, <laughs> F, B flat, and then D. Here's the good news. You're just going to take all these and go down. So that's that's it for A and B flat. All right. Now, C9, really easy. You're playing the B flat, right? You're just going to move this finger down to the C. This finger comes down to. All right. No big deal. All right, so you're a B flat, right? You're a B flat using this quarter here. All you're going to do is drop this guy, move this guy over to the C, this guy down to the E. G, G rhythm. We gotta check it out real quick. All right, so you're gonna play the B flat, right? But B flat power chord. So two, three, and and and. All right, so all those beats on ninety nine are on the ends. So you have one, two, three, and 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 one two three and and all right so think of it like a rock and roll song you're going three four two three and 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 all right so you're using all those five chords excuse me using all those 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 five those big hefty chords all right so but the rhythm one, so if you watch my fingers, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and, 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 one, two, three, and, and, sorry, trying to do the one, two, three, four, but when they're at the end and I'm hitting, it's just a little awkward, so let's try it one more time, one, two, three, and, 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 one, two, three, and, and. All right, no big deal. Two, three, and, and, and. One, two, three, and, and, and. No big deal, no big deal. Hang on. One, two, three, and, and, that's right, cool, just making sure, just gotta check myself, always check yourself, all right, H, one, four, rest, four, rest, two, three, four, rest, four, rest, now here, let's talk at the last little section. I think it would be easier to jump up here to like ninth position and go. All right, so D, E, F, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E. So you don't have to really just four. Right, so it's it's a big riff. Let's talk about it. So you got D on the twelfth fret, fourth string, no big deal. E, ninth fret, third string, going up to the F, right? So on the tenth fret, third string, G octave, all right, twelfth fret, A, 
10th fret, B flat 11th fret, C sharp on the 9th, 10 on the D, and then 12 on the E. So. All right. Last chord. E, you got the B flat. You have a C sharp and then the opening. So one. All right, I gotta go to my next class. All right, I'll put this up on YouTube. All right, bye.